So, seeing as it's spring, I figured I'd talk about one of my favorite uh, springy thingies. Uh, these. This is called a... A... Uh... This is called a Dan Dandelion, I believe is how it's pronounced. Dan Delian. Uh, they are per one R. They are perennial, which means that they don't die after one year. You know, you got a regular flower; it dies after one year. These guys, they have. A big chunky root that that lives underneath. It's called a tap root. This is here forever. Like so, like this dies. It's winter time. It's autumn time. And then oh look, it's springtime. It's time for the flower to come back. Emerges out of this thing again. And it happens in like a night. Like seriously, I will go to bed one night. I will wake up the next morning, and there'll be like a thousand of these little everywhere like it's crazy it's insane how quickly they grow and that's because they store all of their energy down in here they don't have to worry about chooching this bit out really fast because whatever all their energy is down here if they lose this thing if it gets cut off or whatever you know and MBD right like no big no big dandelion for a lot of people there are certain objects or sensations that bring back specific memories that they have or certain feelings. For me, the smell of rain after a few hot days reminds me of summer, or the smell of mini donuts reminds me of being at the amusement park. I also think that dandelions do the same thing. They're a really good visual indicator of when summer starts because one night they're not there and then the next night they are. It just hits you in the face so suddenly that it's summertime or, or springtime. And I love that. I love being surprised that it's a nice season out. That's great. So this year, as the weather improves, I encourage you to go outside and do something fun and not be mad that it's warm because when it gets cold again, you're gonna be very upset. So please, Embrace the warm months while we have them and do something exciting.